Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. We're an official DJI dealer in the United States. And today we're here to talk about DJI's new upgrades for your Phantom 2, your Vision, and your Vision Plus. We're gonna walk you through those upgrades now. You don't have to read about it, you can watch it here. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into the upgrades. The first and most exciting upgrade is the transmitter. A lot of us have wanted dial control on the transmitter instead of inside the app, being able to turn our camera up and down. And it works nicely because when you push the dial to the left, you'll have the camera go down. And when the right, it'll go up. Now at any point where you stop on the dial, the camera will stop. It won't go back to horizontal. So it'll stop where you left it and then you can go ahead and continue flying. Now there's also a new battery level LED indicator on the transmitter as well. The transmitter also features a LiPo that's built in. You can charge it right at home. And this is nice because you don't have to put four AA batteries in this transmitter. So that's a nice upgrade to this new transmitter for the DJI Vision, the Phantom 2, and the Vision Plus. So it's gonna work with any of those copters. There's gonna be two different part numbers available for those. You'll be able to see those on the website. We'll have it clearly labeled for you. The next thing on the list for the transmitter is the throttle lock. When you pull down the throttle stick to descend, the stick is gonna lock into place. So it'll give you a full down descent steadily. And when you push the throttle stick up, again, as soon as you push up, it's gonna release that throttle lock. So no worries there on the descent. The next thing is a really nice feature that they've added. It's gonna be the trainer port. Now you'll be able to look on the back side of the transmitter and there'll be a hole where you can plug in a transmitter cable uh, to another transmitter or you can run a virtual simulator. It's not yet announced by DJI that they're gonna release one, but you never know, they could release an app and we'll be able to fly on our iPads or our phone possibly, or our computers. The next thing on DJI's list of upgrades are the motors and the ESCs. The new motor is called the 2312. It has a beefed up wire cable system on it, which helps improve some of the heat dissipation and reduces uh, motor wear. So the other thing is that they've also upgraded the bearings to they're supposed to be impact resistant. Uh, we're gonna see how well that tests out when we have our first tip overs and we hit a tree for the first time with it. Uh, we'll see how those, those fare in a crash. The next thing is the insulation. There's a new coating powder inside the motor that's supposed to improve the life and the stability of the motor. So you're gonna get a longer run time with this motor and it should, it should last quite a bit longer than the older ones, um, giving less wear and tear over time. And the next thing in conjunction with the ESCs, when you're using these together and also the new props as well, you're gonna get 25% more power out of your, your power system on your Phantom. So that's a nice upgrade, and it's not gonna affect the battery. The runtime on the battery is not gonna be affected, so you're still gonna get your uh, 20 to 25 minutes pushing it. Um, you're still gonna get your 20 minutes out of this, uh, this setup with the same battery. The new propeller is a 4.5 inch pitch um, and this also gives a better aerodynamic performance uh, as well as with your new motor. So all those three things together are gonna give us a lot better performance in our Phantoms. DJI has also taken it upon them to redesign the compass. There's a new system set up for this as well. It's available in two options for the Phantom 2 and the Vision. And then there's another part number for the Vision Plus. So make sure when you make your order that you distinguish from the two. The first thing they did was redesign a protective shell around the compass. They made the whole thing just a little bit smaller, a little more streamlined on the landing gear. It still does seat down at the bottom of the landing gear like the old one, but it'll go up inside the frame and plug in just the same. So one of the main features of this is that it's supposed to be an anti-static guard around the, the, the compass itself. So this might be uh, a major help for us. They didn't mention anything about it before in the past documentation that there could be static interference, but 
If there was, this is going to clear up a lot of issues with uh, copters needing to be recalibrated all the time. So this will be really nice to get a nice consistent flying Phantom and also one that's going to really uh, be on point with where it's at uh, in location to the map. So that's it guys, that's what's new from DJI right now. A whole list of new upgrades for the Phantom 2, the Vision, and the Vision Plus. So if you'd like to see any of those on our website, they are there with some of the specs you can read through and see if it's worth it for you uh, and your setup. One of the things that we did want to mention is that this new power grade upgrade system is going to, uh, it's going to give you a better performance on uh, setups where you have a larger heavier uh, a gimbal on the bottom so if you have a GoPro with H3 3D and you have a bunch of uh, uh, ground station gear on there as well that's going to be a great upgrade for you guys so thanks again for watching I'm Justin Davis with DroneCamps RC please click subscribe